The creation of Wetlands Arboretum, bringing holistic management and consistency to Gamuda Lands Biodiversity Enrichment, Conservation and Nature Education. Hi, my name is Ain Shafika uh, binti Muhammad Zaini. Wetlands Arboretum is actually a 90 acres of public park. We envision this park as Living Trees Museum, or we call it like a plants library with diverse collection of native species ranging from diptherocarp, ornamental, edible species, palms, as well as those species under conservation status. This collection of trees will form like a large garden or park where people can benefit from and to be studied for scientific purposes. Additionally, looking at our context, we're actually adjacent to Paya Indah Discovery Wetlands, so we tap into this opportunity to create an arboretum emphasizing on wetlands ecosystem. Hi, my name is Nur Adiba binti Abdul Karim. Wetlands Arboretum Center located to the entrance of the 90 acres wetlands arboretum consisting of two main buildings named the pavilion and the gallery. The pavilion will serve as a visitor rest and a relaxation shelter as well as the operation and research hut and gravitational center. Next to the pavilion is the gallery. It is an exhibition centre that summarises the journey of the 90 acres wetlands arboretum. So before we started this development, we actually worked with FRIM to conduct flora assessment to tag and identify trees with conservation importance for preservation and transplanting. The study found that the areas are mostly monoplantation secondary forests. There were no endemic and threatened species found we actually have identified about 600 plants under preservation status. Fun fact, we actually sitting on a peat soil, so we take this opportunity to work with Frame to help us assess the soil carbon stocks as well as advise us on how do we manage this peatland forest better. With this initiative in place, we feel like it's meant to share with the public, which inspire us to set up a wetlands arboretum centre to host an environmental education base and function as our plant specimens archive. With more than 9,000 numbers of additional trees, with more than 200 species will be planted, allowing wetlands arboretum to store large amount of carbon in future.